We are the super astute life in the known universe. I mean, imagine that we're the key place where there is information in this boundless framework. Cosmologists, by and large, all throughout the world are in wonderment of this continuously propelling exposure. The James Webb Space Telescope has gotten the inconspicuous focus of city lights, an incomprehensible 7 trillion miles from Earth. Beating all questions, this shocking achievement accomplishes more than simply extend our perspectives in terms of what we are familiar with the universe. Speculation goes wild as specialists pour over the data, searching for signs that could open the mysteries of these bewildering, extraordinary aids. The thoughts are surprising. Check that we are following in the strides of a few extraordinary individuals in the universe, that the universe is abounding with life and development, extremely far outside our capacity to get a handle on. Is it possible that these far-off lights show the presence of extraterrestrial social orders? What's the significance of this for our knowledge into the likelihood of life in the universe beyond Earth? Join us as we take a gander at how the James Webb Telescope just saw city lights 7 trillion miles away. Launched into space on Christmas Day 2021, the James Webb Space Telescope was intended to beat the highly respected Hubble Telescope in capturing astoundingly sharp photos of newfound, brilliant objects, planetary systems, and more. A clear objective of the JWST is to zero in on the movement of the earliest universes by inspecting the distant-off neighboring occupants of the universe. This is practical because the journey time of light throughout our universe is billions of years. When the JWST gathers light, it captures these objects precisely as they were billions of years ago. Space specialists measure distances in light years, which is the best distance light can travel in a year. To show this reality, the mission's first major viable endeavor was a huge field picture that was presented on July 11, 2022, by U.S. President Joseph Biden while he was speaking from the White House. While the Hubble Space Telescope focused on a singular region of the sky for 10 straight days, Beginning on December 18, 1995, the Hubble Deep Field obtained acclaim. The region was only a small spot, making up around one millionth of the entire sky. The vast majority of the 3,000 currently imperceptible things found by Hubble were massive systems, tracked down billions of light years away. With its focus on the SMX 0723 galaxy group, the JWST Deep Field covers a similarly small sky region. The universe structure SMX0723 is 4.6 billion light years away, and the more distant galaxies behind it are amplified by the extraordinary gravitational field. The underpinning of the bright systems is twisted into enormous turns where the gravitational field is most extreme. In one case, it was confirmed that it took a far off galaxy's light 13.1 billion years to reach the telescope, resulting from traveling through space. The light being emitted stretches as the universe grows. The primary objective of the JWST has been to catch visible light from their stars into the infrared. Astronomers can clearly recognize JWST and visible light photos of neighboring galaxies taken by Hubble and other telescopes. By gathering data at those frequencies, we can perceive how galaxies have evolved over huge timescales and merged into the shapes we notice today. More surprising than the sheer number of structures in the JWST's first deep field picture is how rapidly it was captured in only hours compared to days or even weeks for other telescopes. Wherever it looks, it can't avoid the compulsion to find galaxies. Galaxy groups aren't the only objects acting as amplifying focal points. Specialists use the JWST to capture an image of a few worlds, designated VV1191, so they could study how the light from one of the pair changed as it went through the other. The results of this study will uncover the properties of the intervening galaxy's development. Additionally, it seems the JWST may have actually made an exceptional discovery. Light from an extremely distant galaxy. The statement of the possible presence of auroras on an exoplanet came from the official JWST website. The shortfall of a host star and the freezing temperature makes it difficult to pinpoint where the energy in the upper atmosphere is coming from. Anyway, the fact that the object showing aurora is indeed emitting methane is critical. Just like auroras on Earth are caused when fiery particles from the sun are captured by our planet's magnetic field, charged particles then make their way through Earth's atmosphere near the poles, where they crash into gas particles, creating a brilliant light show called the aurora borealis. Jupiter and Saturn have similar auroral phenomena because of the solar wind. However, the baffling W1935 has no star to orbit, 
so its auroras are a massive mystery. Everybody's doubt continues to focus on Proxima Centauri Trappist 1, around 4.4 light years from Earth within the Milky Way. Scientists have identified the presence of water on the exoplanet, and the possibility of life on the planet cannot be ruled out. Are we finally going to see evidence of life beyond Earth? Just last month, the JWST noticed another unbelievably massive black hole. This enormous black hole was seen in different frequencies and is consuming everything around it. This discovery is 40 million times as massive as the Sun. But what does this mean for us? The JWST has found that this very large black hole has been present since the beginning of the universe. Probably isn't moving. This monster is rapidly consuming everything in its nearby area. The discovery was made by Dr. Lucas Fu and Professor Alastair Z of the Ben-Gurion University of the Negev in Israel. According to their findings, the supermassive black hole is nearly 30 times heavier than the sun, making it a tremendous entity. Luckily, it is found a vast distance from Earth, around 129 billion light years away. Still, it is moving closer with the black hole consuming everything around it at a quick rate, as shown by the red shift. When the JWST started sending back its secret data, scientists were thrilled as they sifted through the information that came in for the revealed program. Three small objects with a faint red flash caught their attention. They quickly thought it was a nearby massive black hole. However, when they analyzed the data using gravitational lensing, they found something even more intriguing. The discovery of similar phenomena in other early universe supermassive black holes has provided new insights into the evolution of both the black hole and its host galaxy, as well as the connection between the two. This is still largely mysterious, but it may be proof of the early stage evolution of massive objects, like star forming materials that fell into black holes. Space specialists can't yet see precisely what is happening in the images returned to Earth, but one thing is clear the James Webb Space Telescope is constantly finding new, bizarre objects. Every day, we have the delight of exploring space and being charmed by the stunning lights of planets and stars that float across the universe, light years away. Not only does the JWST allow us to see far beyond what our eyes can grasp, but it has also uncovered a mysterious object in one picture. This picture, which focused on something else, was taken by the European Space Agency, observing two young stars forming about 1.47 light years from Earth. However, there is a small orange mark at the bottom of the picture that appears to resemble a question mark. Clearly, this small image is far from trivial. In fact, it's enormous. The question mark shape was captured while observing the arrangements of young stars known as herbig harrow objects, which are surrounded by massive rings of gas and dust. As for the question mark shape itself, it may be the case that due to the two-dimensional picture presented by Webb, it appears this way from its particular viewpoint. As of now, we have no idea what it is, and without further study, we may never know. However, the discovery has been verified by experts, and it is likely a distant structure or perhaps galaxies that are interacting with one another. The disturbed question mark shape could be a result of their combined efforts. Given the flood of distant, exaggerated structures uncovered by Webb, there is an ongoing surge of new, unpredictable questions. Everybody's eyes are focusing on a particular arrangement of Earth-sized planets that could hold the key to finding extraterrestrial life. The relentless issue, which includes the lack of evidence for advanced extraterrestrial life in the universe, notwithstanding the high probability that such creatures exist, could finally be settled. Where are these planets? They sit precisely 40 light-years from Earth. Furthermore, the nearby star system is known as TRAPPIST-1, which has seven planets orbiting it. In their quest to find habitable planets, NASA is considering a wide variety of criteria. Beyond a planet size and distance from its star, a more sensible approach is to assess the overall conditions of the planet's atmosphere, as this would allow researchers to determine if the planet is habitable. The Infrared Spitzer Space Telescope, which is part of NASA's space exploration mission, revealed the seven harsh exoplanets orbiting the same star, TRAPPIST, quite a while ago. The James Webb Space Telescope has now measured the temperature of TRAPPIST-1b, one of those planets. JWST has consistently made pivotal discoveries since its launch, and this finding is just the latest in a series of record-breaking firsts.
This is the first discovery of light produced by an exoplanet as small and cool as those in our own solar system. No other telescopes have had the capacity to measure such weak mid-infrared light. Space specialists were excited when they first learned about the seven Trappist-1 exoplanets, as these distant worlds are all Earth-sized and live in the habitable zone, the region where planets can have liquid water on their surfaces. However, the Trappist-1 planets are beyond our current reach, located a staggering 235 trillion miles away. They orbit a star much smaller and redder than our sun, known as an M-dwarf star. These stars are much more common in the Milky Way than sun-like stars and are ideal targets for planet trackers. However, M-dwarfs are also more prone to erupting and emitting high-energy radiation, which could damage any emerging extraterrestrial life or a planet's atmosphere. When we turn our attention to TRAPPIST-1b, we find that it is tidally locked to its star. One side of the planet is constantly facing the star, while the other remains in perpetual darkness. This temperature difference creates extreme conditions, with the daytime side reaching temperatures hot enough to melt iron. The dark side remains much cooler, but still warm enough to prevent the development of methane, a key atmospheric gas. Although this may reduce the planet's true potential for harboring life, the JWST's ability to measure these extreme conditions offers a unique perspective on distant exoplanets and their environments.